So you heard the news, which is why you're here. Facebook has done it again. Gave us another bombshell, y'all. They are going to, as of February the 19th, 2025, and yes, I know that date is gone, they are no longer going to be hosting our live broadcast on their platform. I know, it threw everybody in a tizzy. What does that mean? Are they all going to go away? Are they going to give us time to download them? But they have been gracious enough to allow us to download them. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download those lives so that you can save those precious moments, whether they were church services, whether they were um, ministry events, whether you're an entrepreneur and you go live every week like I do and you want to save those and you don't have them anywhere else. We're going to be talking about all the things, how to do that on today. So let's dive in to the video. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is how to save all of your church, your ministry, um, your business live streams so that you can have them before Facebook deletes them. Hey everybody, it is your girl, Coach Cheryl. And on today, we're going to be talking about Facebook's decision to delete live streams, how you can save your live streams and what to do now. This is what we know. that as of February 19th, any live streams that your church, your ministry, or you personally did, Facebook is going to delete them. So if you recorded them before February the 19th, you have 90 days, three months to download them and to save them somewhere. If you recorded them live after February 19th, you will have 30 days to actually download those. So if your church, your ministry, or you yourself have been live streaming for a long time, especially prior to February 19th. I'm assuming that's why the window is much longer because you'll need that time to download all of those videos. So first things first, you're going to need somewhere to download those. So what I would suggest is buying an external hard drive. And I'm going to put a link in the description to several hard drives that I recommend for storing files because the files are going to be too big for you to download them to a laptop, to a desktop. It's just going to be too many and too big. So I would recommend getting an external hard drive with at least one terabyte. I would recommend between two and four terabytes of storage to download these huge files. So that's the first thing. So now let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. What you see before you is my personal Facebook page. Now, most of you probably have admin access to your church's Facebook page, to your ministry's Facebook page, or if you personally have a Facebook business page. And so I don't want to assume that you know how to retrieve this information. So I'm going to take us step by step, assuming that you know nothing so that we can get to those files. Now, I happen to be an administrator on my church's business page where we do our live streams. So I'm going to show you how to get there from my personal page. In the upper right hand corner, you will see my profile picture. And on that profile picture, you will see a down arrow where you see account. I want you to click on that down arrow. When you click on that down arrow, it's going to show you all the profiles that you have admin access for. So I'm going to click the first one, which is my church, New Beginnings. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to change it. You'll see the whole transformation from my personal page to voila, to our church's business page where we live stream. Then I want you to look on the left hand side, that left menu sidebar. You're going to see a lot of things where it says manage page. What I want you to look for is Meta Business Suite. This is what I want you to look for right here. And I want you to go ahead and select it. So click on Meta Business Suite. And that's going to take you to the back office of your church's page where you'll find everything that you do on the page. I want you to look again on that left-hand side and look for the word content. So we're going to look for content and we're going to select content. So click on that and that's going to bring you to all the content that you post on your page, whether it's posts, whether it is reels, whether it's stories and live streams, they're going to live here. 
Then I want you to look right under publish where it says post type, where you see my cursor. I want you to click on that down arrow and then I want you in here to select live. So go ahead and click on live. And it's going to filter that out and show you all of the live streams that you have there. Now, what you can do is where it says last days, um, you can either click on that down arrow and you can customize where you want that to look for. What I will probably do is scroll down to where it says lifetime and select lifetime. And that's going to show me all of my lives that we've ever done that live on our church's Facebook page. And so it's going to do its thinking a little bit and voila, you'll see all of our live streams. You'll have to take these one by one and download them. Right here, you'll see our first one and you'll see these three dots. It looks like an ellipsis. Just click on that and it'll bring um, a menu bar for it. And then the third item you'll see will say download. And now it's going to give you two options. Download a standard definition or download high definition. I would recommend downloading the high definition because you want that to be as crisp and clear as it can be. So you select that. I'm going to go ahead and select it. And it is going to start downloading that file. Um, I'm on um, an Apple, a Mac. So you'll see it right up here in this corner where I'm circling. You'll see it showing that it has begun the download process. Now, depending on the computer you're on, whether you're on a PC or whether you're on an Apple product, that file is going to go into your downloads folder. So at the end of this, when it's completed, the download process, find this file in your downloads folder, transfer that off of your computer to the hard drive, and then delete it from your laptop. Delete it from your desktop because that file is going to be big and it's going to eat up too much storage on your computer. And y'all, that's it. That is the entire process of downloading those files. My final recommendation is to multi-stream. Using a service like Restream, using a service like StreamYard, using a service like Ecamm Live, which is by far my favorite. Because if you multi-stream, you don't have to worry about this download process that Facebook is making us go through because you will have a living copy on YouTube or, or anywhere else. And I would really recommend you do Facebook and YouTube and then just let Facebook do its thing and archive and delete them because they'll always be living on YouTube. Well, I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. And if you have any questions, go ahead and drop those down into the comments. And if you know someone, another church, another business owner, that this tutorial will be helpful for, go ahead and share that with them as well. And before you leave, go ahead, like this video and subscribe for future videos. Thanks so much.